hi welcome everyone in today's video we are going to learn how to generate uh, commands in R and in, in your code file how to convert it into a presentable format so that when you forward it to your supervisor or your funding committee when they execute the command they they see the same output that they that you want to show the problem is sometimes when you change one computer to another there are there are there are differences in terms of the directories that you make of the data file there are differences that some people might not have access to internet there are sometimes differences that there are some background libraries are old or there's an issue that the, their computer does not have access of admin so that they can do changes in the computer so sometimes your code file will not work or will not give the same result so this is some random code file in which what I am going to do is to show you how to convert it in, into a presentable format for that the R has uh, one function that is called R markdown R, R notebook so when you open an R notebook and you open it for the first time first time then it will install some libraries mostly related to R markdown and it shows you a few things like it, it you use, use this shaded region which is called a chunk so you convert your codes into smaller units and each unit you paste into a chunk and in this file you can add a title of your project and then you can add a commentary just like it is written here so what I've done is I converted this code into a this this uh, this R notebook in which uh, what I will write it here is that this is my estimation output and I will add I will add some text here that here you will see I am going to load some libraries relevant to my work similarly you can write you can go down and change the next text and this text is just showing how to load the chunks so just I'm changing so that so next chunk is about loading the data and summary table similarly you can come down and and before the next table you can add that now we are showing some relevant graphs so you can add interpretations here or discussions here so now what I'm going to do is go on the top and run all the chunks one by one so this button will show run this section this shaded region I will run it it will load the libraries and then in this region when I run it it will load the data and generate the table the difference is that now the output will not be shown here or here for the table or graph it will be shown below the chunk okay so it is done so output is shown here now I will go down into next set I will just execute the next set like this so it will create the graphs in the normal uh, method the graphs are shown in plots but here if they are shown below it now what I will do is I will knit the data into HTML format so it will compile the codes and create a table and, and create a HTML file which is which can be saved into HTML format and it which can be sent to your supervisor with codes and outputs so it sometimes takes time it depends upon how complicated your chunk is and how much so it has been loaded now it is joining together which it's called knitter so here you can see that the title is there your commentary is there first set of code its output and and for each code there is an output then each in the next chunk loading data and then reading a table so this is a table that has been formed using this code this library this uh, table summary library it has created for each cross section its mean and quantile values when you go down and then for for each graph command it is showing a graph so this way you can and then if you open in a browser you can save it into html format same way you can convert it into pdf if you go here and go for pdf it will convert it into a pdf format so 
still it will still take time because it depends upon the size of the data and the complexity of the analysis so my data has three chunks so it is compiling all the chunks and then the remaining text that I have written uh, so it is converting into a PDF file so it is not loaded because it is saying that I need to install this library PDF to latex so if I install it then it will convert it into um, into a PDF format so in the next video I will I will uh, show you how to convert into PDF and how to make it more detailed and more presentable using adding your your thesis text into it so thank you very much for watching do like and subscribe the video thank you